Okay, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take my uh, transom boards that I had uh, uh, cut for in here and I'm going to put in here and I'm going to drill and I'm going to get all my holes that I need in here to compress it once my uh, brackets and everything are all on there and as we go you'll see what I'm doing here and uh, see how this works. You know that bitch tall if I can't cut wood with it. Turn. When does? A little better. must be bigger than the other one. There we go. Now, outside. Not as strong as I thought. Okay, this was my uh, um, apparatus I built last fall. I'm glad I've able to everything starboard and port and all that because you know I wouldn't remember it by now. And I had tapered this board. You can see I didn't cut this to. See if I can get these rusty nuts off there before I start videoing. So, anyway. There's port, starboard. Set that in there. If you remember, if you've been following me, I had actually had another one made that I went in these scupper holes. Port bottom is for this to go inside. You know, if I wanted him to crow like that, he wouldn't do it.
see what I'm doing here. I'm trying to pull all this up and I want to just see how many uh, brackets and bolts and, and stuff do I need to where I know without a shadow, of, beyond a shadow of a doubt, that that's going to pull up like I want it to. Oh, it's bad there. I don't know what. You get something on this one. I'm thinking, uh, I'm just keep, uh, I didn't want to bore you to death, but I'm just putting these on here and uh... Okay, I'm going to give you the summary of what I got done today and uh, kind of show you what I've got and what we've done so far. Alright, I got my plywood in. I've got, I've drilled through my anchors, I've drilled through the uh, scuppers here, through this scupper, this one is the scupper that does the, uh, drains the pan for the motor, where the splash pan comes right up here in the back, this is the scupper that drains the deck, it's kind of got like a through the hall fitting with a hose that runs up to the deck. I went ahead, I wasn't going to go through those in case I changed something, but I went ahead and done through that. I want to make sure that all this is pulled up correctly and I'm going to make sure I got a tight fit. I don't right now I don't have anything that's got uh, any kind of epoxy or anything any fiberglass work on it yet. I'm just <coughs> excuse me I'm just getting all this done. I even come through my drain hole I'm going to show you on the inside what I've got. Same way over here scuppers both scuppers anchor and everything. So I've got this pulled up I like the way this looks. I'm going to let you see how that Alright, I took and uh, put these boards across here like this. I've got shims that push the center in so we get that nice arc of the back. I've This one's cut on a taper on both sides. Got this one in here. This is going through the bottom two motor mounts. This bolt here is only coming through this brace that's bolted through the bottom motor mounts holding this on and I've got to where this would be compressed through the drain hole this bottom one here with all these on there this has got that plywood pushed all the way up to that transom all the way so I feel very comfortable that when I went ahead when I go ahead and make my peanut butter out of my uh, uh, pot, out of my uh, resin and fiberglass and smear all this on there that all this is going to go up tight. I'm going to go ahead and what I'll probably do is I will take this back off. I'll go ahead and coat my boards real good and everything. Get my this uh, the boat prepared, fresh grind on it and everything ready for it to go. And right when I'm ready to do it, what I'll probably do is put all this back on but leave the nuts drawn all the way out to the end where it's about, about that far back. And uh, Go ahead and get that all peanut buttered in real good where I can slide it up and just run the nuts up. So I just uh, I wanted to let you know what I got going here, how I'm doing this. I got uh, I got a little bit I got I'm gonna when I take it loose I'm gonna trim this right here a little bit on each side because there's a little lip and I'll bring you up there so you can see that also. You can see how I got that marked. You can see that little lip right there. I'm going to cut that off. Probably cut that at a 45 to where I, when I do my, uh, um, when I take the fiberglass, that way I can go ahead and uh, tab that in real good right there. But uh, other than that,